How far in advance is the writing room done? Do you ever so far in advance? <laughs> it's never reactive to what the nope. audience says. No, which is something I love to have out there for like prosperity <laughs> is that I feel like because especially Hell of a Boss because we release Hell of a Boss so sporadically. Like the show is. I think it's it's going to be a total of I can't math at the moment, but the first season was eight episodes. Second season is twelve, um, and we started the show like oh my gosh, back in like twenty nineteen. I think is when episodes started like properly releasing, and it's already twenty twenty four, and we're um, only just now at the end of this year going to be releasing all of season two. So it's like such a long journey and we've, you know, there's been so long of like waits. So I totally understand people probably thinking like, oh, they're making the episode from scratch or something. But no, like we wrote and recorded this season that's only releasing now back in like, oh my God, like three years ago. So there is some part of me that sometimes wants to go back and be like, okay, like I'm a better writer now. So like, I feel like there's certain things, but I also want to kind of stand by it and go, well, everything we wrote forward, because we've also already written um, the first half of season three um, and we've already recorded it too. So like every, again, everything happens so far in advance um, because we're only just releasing season, you know? So it's usually at least a year or two in advance. This one was a little different because we just took so long on the season, but yeah, we write it super in advance and we have the story planned out. So we're really like knowing which parts like this certain arc has to go to, like how many episodes like to kind of get through that, what major character moments happen. Um, and I, I love it because I like having a roadmap, but we always like adjust. We, we go through so much in the writing process. Like we go over those scripts so heavily now. And I love the writing team that we have for season three because it's the most people we've ever had. Like it went from me and Brandon in season one to me, Brandon and Adam in season two. And now um, uh, in season three, it's me, Adam, Brandon, um, Sky and Lyle. And so there's so many more people and I think it's only made it stronger because everyone is able to contribute a perspective and it just makes the scripts, I think, way more tight to have more feedback, you know, because feedback's always good and more perspectives. So, yeah, I, I love it. And yeah, <laughs> long answer to a, a simple question that, yes, we write them very far in advance, but I sometimes I'm like, yeah, because you see the reaction and you go, that's happening later. Like, you know, like sometimes I'll see someone go, well, that better happen in the next episode. And I go, it's not happening in the next episode, but it is happening. It is happening. Do, I promise. Do comments <laughs> like that ever make you want to tweak the script to give it more toward what the audience wants than what you originally had? Yeah. Well, your heart wants to do that. Like your 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 human, like insecure brain goes, oh, no, like, let's let's tweak it to like do that. But. What I've had to learn is that like what we do for from a production production standpoint is that we kind of need to lock the episodes. We don't like I know some shows go back and rewrite things for those reasons, but it really messes up the whole pipeline to do that. Like to go back and rewrite means we have to re-record. It means we have to uh, reanimate and refix, and it's so much work and so much money that it's like I I've kind of learned nope let's just let it be what it is and we'll fix it like if there's a, a an inconsistency or something that we create we kind of fix that like going forward um and it, it's hard though because yeah you you want to be like or i have to resist the urge to like kind of say things like <laughs> hey guys like like yes like this character's gonna do this thing but like not yet like can you just wait and and i think that's why like the release is always kind of tricky because it's like i know they're waiting so far in advance. So that's why I'm excited for this year because we have the episodes coming out more monthly. So it's a lot less of a wait. And I think like when everyone sees where the season ends, they're going to go, oh, like if you rewatch the season, it's like, oh, I see the arc that was intended through the whole process because we wrote them all at once. But then the release was like one episode this month and then three months later, another episode and then three months later, another one. And so I get people being like, you know, but yeah, that's the process. That's what it's been. <laughs>